Someone must have been telling lies about Joseph K because without having done anything wrong, he was arrested one morning. These are the, this is the opening line of Franz Kafka's The Trial. The story of a man who is being arrested and prosecuted, but he can't find out for what. They keep telling him things like, well, you'll find out later. The papers are being drawn up. It's a very complicated process. And so the mood, Kafka-esque, is now used to describe this feeling of being in the twilight zone, uh, and being in an environment of fear, uh, an environment that is surreal, but it's also crazy and it's also vicious. And this combination of qualities, I think, perfectly describes our moment today. We are in a Kafka-esque movement of digital book burning. And I want to illustrate the point um, by looking at tr uh, Twitter's stated reason for banning Trump. Interestingly, unlike in Kafka's trial, where he can't find out what's going on, they never say, they never give a reason. Here, Twitter does give a reason. And it's actually even more damning because it's a window into the, you may call it, the Twitter mind or perhaps Jack Dorsey's mind. So let's look at the reason why Trump got banned according to Twitter. It's two tweets. Here's the first one. The 75 million great American patriots who voted for me, America first, and make America great again, will have a giant voice long into the future. They will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form. Inoffensive tweet. Trump is merely saying that even if I exit the scene, the MAGA movement lives on. Now, Twitter flags the phrase American patriots. The use of the words American patriots, says Twitter, to describe some of his supporters is also being interpreted. Notice the passive voice is also being interpreted. By whom? By Twitter? As support for those committing violent acts at the U.S. Capitol. And he, Twitter goes on. The mention of his supporters having a giant voice long into the future and that they will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form is being interpreted, same tense, as further indication that President Trump does not plan to facilitate an orderly transition and that instead he plans to continue to support, empower, and shield those who believe he won the election. Now we go to the second tweet from Trump. To all those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January 20th. This is Trump merely saying, I'll feel degraded if I go, so I'm not going. That's it. Here's Twitter's interpretation. The second tweet, says Twitter, may also serve as encouragement to those potentially considering violent acts that the inauguration would be a, quote, safe target, as he will not be attending. Now, is this a normal or reasonable reading of that tweet? No. We're basically dealing with people who are reading this tweet in a twisted and deranged way. And that is what I mean by the phrase Kafkaesque, when an environment where words don't mean what they say, where they're, t where they're ultimately taken to mean things different than they say, where people are, in a sense, in this case, Trump is in the Kafkaesque environment where he's guilty before he's even been charged. And what we learn about tyranny from all this is that tyranny is not only irrational, it's not only merciless, it's also deranged.